What do you think is a misunderstanding of daytime? We're celebrating daytime. Mm -hmm. Do you think it still has a perception of like, do you think people don't understand how hard it is to work in daytime? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, I've done, I've been lucky enough to do um, a sitcom, a primetime sitcom film. Um, a, a, I did the Vampire Diaries where that was almost like shooting a film too, because it was, it just takes so long to, you know, shoot scenes. And people have no idea that the pace that we go is the most difficult form of acting. I mean, theater, you get to rehearse the same thing over and over again. Primetime and the sitcom, I had a half, you know, we do a half hour show and you get a week to rehearse. Movies, you get days, days to film certain scenes. We have to do it sometimes in one take. And sometimes the scene before, we we're supposed to be happy and laughing and then the next scene, we're supposed to be crying and bawling. And, and uh, yeah, I think the, um, I think that's definitely why it gets, you know, a bad rap or, you know, misunderstood anyway, just because you don't you don't understand until you experience it. You don't understand until you don't know. Right. We're a small community. We support each other. We I've worked in this community for over 30 years. When I I was a child, I was a zygote when I started. Um, so, but I I think that it's we're here to support each other. We're here to um, to love each other and to root for daytime because daytime is an important part of a lot of people's lives. I look at it in its own genre close to jazz, meaning it's improvisational, it's spontaneous. And what I mean by that is, is you know, anyone can say the words. What, what's happening behind the words? What's the music that's going on behind those words? And it's, it, it, we don't have time to plan. We don't have time to rehearse like a, a Broadway show or a movie. Uh, and so it has to be spontaneous. And we are surrounded on our set by people who can play that game at that level. And uh, that's really uh, intoxicating. Like Jeannie Francis, when you're up against Jeannie Francis, you, there's a symphony going on behind those eyes. And when she gets to play something that on the page looks ridiculous, and then she sells it to you right in front of your face, that's again, that's like reacting against that is easy. What do you think of the pace of daytime? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I wish everything shot like daytime. You because, do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that fast, present, we yeah. gotta go. Yeah, because if you're on set, for 12 hours and you're only working for two hours, it's like all the work I could have gotten done. Like, you know, you're hanging I like, out too much. you're hanging out. Yeah. I like daytime because I'm there, I'm in hair and makeup, I'm running my lines, I'm shooting, I'm home. And I like that it's a good structure. Plus, you know, who wants to be dragging their feet all day, you know? Going back to Studio City for one second, I, I really wanted that show to show daytime in a really positive light. I effectively wanted it to be a love letter to the soaps. Do I think that there's a misconception about soaps? I do, because I think a lot of times when soaps are portrayed in film and television, you know, they're sort of shown with this hyperbolic acting, and, and you know, anyone who knows daytime, that's not what it's like. Some of the finest actors I know that I've had the privilege of working with um, come from daytime, uh, so I, I I wanted to show, really, and, and as a matter of fact, you know, most of our actors on Studio City come from daytime, and it's not because it's a daytime show. It's because they're some of the, you know, most crackerjack, dedicated professionals that I know. Yeah, listen, yeah. you know, daytime has been wonderful to me. Um, I think that one of the reasons that daytime is still uh, a, a viable medium is because um, they're fantastic relationships. There's fantastic emotional um, um, connectivity with the characters and the audience. And that's not something that you always see on every show. And uh, so many of the characters in the shows have been um, multi-generational. And I think people have emotional investments in these characters. And I think that's one of the, the strongest things about daytime. The genre's alive and I'm feeling like it's my job. I'm doing I'm two jobs. I got two shows. But I'm doing my best to keep the genre alive. You're doing a great job. I can only do so much. <laughs> I think about how lucky I am to go to work every day and do something that I really still enjoy and that I really am good at. Um, because I've, I've learned, I know how to do this. So there's a real comfort in that. Plus, the most important thing for me right now is I look at two things. Number one is what it provided me, that I was able to give my daughter everything that I wanted to give her. But more importantly is that I get to be my age and still working and still, you know, being nominated for a trophy and still um, making a steady living and being able to redo my kitchen and um, not worrying about what other people have to worry about in this country. 
um, and how grateful I am that I came into came into this medium and stayed in it. And what would you say about people that look down on daytime? What a ridiculous attitude, and and how wrong they are. 